hi everyone welcome back to my channel creation addiction um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make a mondongo dominicano mondongo is um, tripe which it can be beef tripe or um, goat tripe or you know but it's a very tricky dish because some people like it and some people don't um, a lot of people just really don't like the smell of it but it's actually very delicious and very simple to make. Um, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get all the notifications um, that I upload. In order to make mondongo uh, tripe soup, you will need, of course, the mondongo. We have aoyama. I normally cut it up and freeze it so that it doesn't um, Oil, so mine is frozen right now and cut up in pieces. You need a green pepper, onions. Um, this one is optional, you can use some liquido. In here, I have tomato paste, I usually keep it in the freezer as well. You need your adobo, your oregano, and your garlic. You can also use whole garlic. You're going to start off with a pot of water because the first step you are going to do is to um boil the mondongo normally it comes in whole pieces but this one that i bought actually came cut up in strips so i'm hoping that it'll be um faster so you just take the mondongo and put it in the water Once you have the mondongo in the water, you are going to add your oregano. I like to do this so that while it's boiling, it takes the flavors of the adobo and oregano. And then also your adobo. Turn it on so that it boils to high heat. And you can either use a pressure cooker or you can just boil it. The texture of the mondongo should be tender, but not so tender that when you continue to cook it in the soup, it's going to be too mushy. Um, once it is tender, you just take up all the strips or pieces and just cut it up into smaller um, square pieces. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be even. Just cut it up into smaller pieces. You'll also notice some pieces like this one have like a white fatty part. Try to remove that from all the pieces that you can because it doesn't have a nice texture or taste and you also don't want to be eating extra fat. This is what it should look like once it's all cut up. Now you just take a big enough pot and you're gonna saute some onions and peppers along with some garlic. I use my garlic 
paste so you can use whole garlic. Then you're gonna add the tomato paste as well while that's all sauteing and you're just gonna let it cook for a little bit. I like to add in some of the water that the mondongo boiled in so that the paste can turn a little liquidy. Then you also start adding in all your seasonings like the sazon liquido that I use. You can add the adobo and the oregano. Once your sauce is ready, you add in the mondongo. I like to let it simmer for a little bit so that the mondongo can get the flavor of the sauce as well. And then I check to make sure that nothing is missing. After the mondongo has simmered for a little bit, I take half of the water that um, it boiled in and I pour that in and then I add fresh water from the filter or a sink, whatever you use for cooking. Check for flavor as often as you need to and add whatever is missing. Bring the mondongo to a boil and then once it's boiling, you want to add the aoyama. Once the aoyama is a little bit soft, you can add in the potatoes. You don't want to add in the potatoes too early because the potatoes boil quickly and then they'll get too soft. Once the aoyama has broken down a little bit and the sauce thickened up a little bit, that's when you know it's ready. Try not to use too much of the water that the mondongo boiled in because it can add a lot of extra fat like you see here. When you see that fat just lying around the top, try to scoop it out with a spoon um, if you don't want that much fat. The mondongo is normally accompanied by a side of rice and tostones and some aguacate. So that's how I make Mondongo Dominicano um, tripe soup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.